Do you actually gain more horsepower from burning high octane fuel in your motorcycle? Let's find out. So I know you guys have probably heard from someone or another that, bro, burn, burn premium. You'll get so much more horsepower. Your bike will run so much better. But is that really true? Sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. Let's talk about why. This Kawasaki Z650, the manual says to run 87 octane. Well, why is that? This has a normal compression ratio engine. Now, gasoline can only ignite by normally two conditions. You have an ignition source or by high compression. Now, this is normal compression as stated earlier. So when that piston travels upwards with 87 or normal fuel, when that spark is called for, that fuel is going to ignite and combust immediately, forcing the piston down when it's supposed to. Now, higher octane fuel, because of the different mixtures it has in it, heptane and all that other good stuff, when it travels upward and calls for ignition, it'll burn slower. So in a normal compression ratio engine, that delayed burn will actually be less force on the piston going back down. Well, if you have less force on the pistons, what's that mean? You're going to have less power coming out of the engine through the drivetrain. So you can actually lose a little bit of responsiveness and horsepower by putting a high octane fuel in a normal compression ratio engine, such as this. Now, if you have a Super Sport, H2R, ZX14, Hibusa, whatever, they probably call for premium fuel or minimum grade of 91. And the reason for that is to get all that extra horsepower, the compression ratio is higher. So you do need to run that to get that delayed burn to allow the pistons to travel all the way up to the ignition point, spark fires, you get that slower burn so you don't cause predetonation. Now, predetonation, if you let that happen over time, you can completely destroy your engine, burn the rings, uh, you're causing combustion before the valves are in the right position, which can just wreck, wreck the timing and everything else on an engine. Uh, so if you want to blow one up, yeah, go buy you a Super Sport and put 87 in it to save a few pennies and then end up paying, you know, six grand to replace the engine from a mechanic. Um, but on a bike like this, you can actually save a little bit of money, burn regular octane fuel, don't go with the premium stuff unless you just, I don't know, don't like peak performance. Um, but there's a reason the manufacturer says to use certain fuels and there's a reason you need to follow it. Now, if you're an occasional rider or you store your bike for long periods of time during the winter months or maybe you travel, you're in the service, you need to try to find some non-ethanol fuel for your bike. Um, it's going to cost more than premium, but it's going to save you maintenance in the long run. If you can't find non-ethanol, buy a little bottle of either the stable st fuel stabilizer, Lucas, Bell. There's a ton of companies that make fuel stabilizers. What that does is prevents the separation of ethanol and gasoline because ethanol is designed to absorb water. Uh, it's mostly for the manufacturers and sellers you know they got to count their pennies so when the fuel gets in or the water gets in the fuel from fueling station transfer process ethanol soaks it up and allows it to run through your engine without much harm and they don't have to dump their tanks when they get water in the fuel ethanol takes care of it um, now what can happen over time is the ethanol hits saturation point separates falls to the bottom of your tank. That's the first thing. It gets sucked into your fuel system, can clog your injectors up. Um, of course, if you're running carburation, it, it's horrible. It can make your needles stick, clog your jets. Um, it's probably worse on a carbureted engine than it is fuel injection because you have to tear everything down, get it cleaned out, get it put back in, and get the carbs synced back up appropriately. It's a pain. Um, Fuel injection, I mean, still, if it gums up and runs through there, over time you're going to lose performance or your bike may not even start. So non-ethanol fuel or fuel stabilizer will help you out with that. Um, I personally use stable in my motorcycle and my lawn equipment, things of that nature.
for the winter time. But all right, guys, that's about it. If you have any more questions or concerns about what kind of fuel you should run in your bike, the first thing I'm going to tell you is check your manual because I can't tell you. Uh, I know somebody's going to do it. What do I need to run in my Ducati insert model here? I'll be like, oh, check the manual. <laughs> Look online. Um, I don't have the information for every bike. So pull your manuals, call your manufacturer, go to their website. That information's going to be on there. So ride safe, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave questions, comments below. I'll get back to you individually, or if there's enough questions about a certain topic, might make a video on it. We'll see you next time.